hi everyone okay this is much my first video which is audio enabled oh. <laughs> thank you for watching okay in this video we are going to see uh, how to extend ad schema for sscm current branch okay so the ad schema extension utility is available with the <clears throat> with the setup file the setup binaries itself this is a path okay i'm using 1603 technical preview version but uh, the file path is uh, same for all the all the versions of sscm okay okay i always prefer to run this from uh, command prompt okay <clears throat> D EXT AD SCH dot EXE. Okay, it needs admin privileges. Okay, I have given this. Now I am going to C drive and check the log file. So this log file has been created. Okay. I will open it with trace, CM trace. Okay. So it says, okay. T -t 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 -t. Successfully in run. Why it says already exists? Okay, if uh, if you have uh, extended the schema for SSCM 2007 or 2012, then there is no schema extension required for current branch. Okay, so so now I will go to ADSI edit dot mc okay so first thing systems so it systems i will create a container called system management where all the ccm related details would be published new object where is containers okay container I will give the name system management system management okay next finish okay now i wanted to give <clears throat> access to the computer so sscm or configuration manager site server should have full access on this container system management go to properties security advanced add mm, set principle uh, so what is the mission name host name host name it's Bangalore BLR IT Pro CM. Okay. Uh, okay. BLR IT Pro. Why, 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 why? Okay. So this is common error. You need to add the computers over here. No, no. Okay. Now it is able to discover the object. 
I have given the full control. Now this is very important. Uh, this object and all the de uh, object should have access. Okay. Now play. Okay. Okay. Done. So now the configuration manager current branch or SSM current branch uh, site server should have access. Okay. Now I can go back. Normally, normally when you open our uh, Active Directory users and computers, the system won't be visible. So for that, you have to enable advanced features then the system would be visible and you would be able to see system management okay so over here SSEM related SSEM current branch related uh, objects would be um, published um, sim like site details boundary details and everything would be published over here uh, MP details yeah okay that is it uh, for today so it's very simple you just need to oh, the you should have schema admin access to run this uh, run this utility okay so you can run it from SSEM server as well uh, no need to go to uh, domain controller server and run this uh, uh, sorry run this one extadsch okay so you need to have schema admin access okay and this should be uh, this can be done from SSEM server as well okay so that is it for today thank you for watching see you next time